Welcome back to Mixing with the Seychelles. I'm Robert and tonight we're going to be cooking fettuccine alfredo and I've got a sous chef beside me who's going to be doing all the work for me tonight. So, you can catch us on our Facebook under Rob and Ange Seychelles or you can catch us on Instagram at Mixing with the Seychelles or on our email mixingwiththeseychelles at gmail.com. Now, Paige, would you like to start preparing our meal for us tonight? So, the important thing to note is this particular recipe is in, is, was made in the US. So it's actually all in ounces and pounds. So the important thing about that is the fact that we don't have to make any conversions. The Thermomix will do it all for us in the TM6. Now, if at any point you'd like us to Get one of the, help you get one of these on your bench, please feel free to reach out to us on any of the platforms I've just mentioned before. Now, are we ready to start? Well, let's go. So we need six ounces of pecorino. Now while Paige is cutting this, I'll just let you know that the price of the TM6 is actually going up it's the first time it's been it's gone up in a long time and it's going up on the 20th of july now at this point in time we don't know by how much so now would be a great time to invest in one before the price rise how are we going So we're now up to 3.4 and I think we're going to be using all of that that we've got there. Beautiful. We'll just scrape the rest of that into the bowl as well so we don't waste any of it. Okay, next step. What are we doing next? Put the lid back on. And we're going to grate that down into our grated cheese. This step will be a little bit loud, but be prepared. Now we've stopped that a little bit early, only for the fact that we can hear that the cheese has grated properly now. So we'll take that out. Now we will need slightly bigger bowl than what we had previously. As you can see, that's grated parmesan down nicely. Okay, moving on to the next. Telling us to take that out. Now we need some water. Once again, ounces. So the Thermat TM6 will actually measure all that for us. The current offer on the TM6, at this stage if you were to purchase the TM6 you will receive a one of our Thermomix mats, uh, baking mat, as well as the bread tin that goes with that. The dough mat, I apologise, not the uh, baking mat. Okay, next step, so we're just going to boil the water up from the looks of this. Okay. Oh, 
And that's on for 12 minutes. We might skip out for a little bit. We'll come back to you with once we've got the water boiled so we can start putting some other pieces together for the recipe. Okay guys, thank you for bearing with us. That was 12 minutes of the most entertaining nothingness I could think of. Almost as good as watching grass grow. So we've got the water boiled now. So up to our next step, which is to put our pasta in. So that actually goes in through the hole in the lid. Preferably not one at a time. That's it. As we're doing this it's going to actually start it's going to start cooking as soon as we start putting it in now the beauty about this is that it is an automated recipe on the tm6 so all we need to do is follow the instructions that are provided and the thermomix does everything else for you that's so going to be that whole packet there which is great now the other thing to keep in mind is that we actually got our pasta maker delivered only a couple of days ago so in the next few videos, we're going to be starting to experiment and work out how to actually make our own gluten-free pasta. So that's the important thing here is that this particular recipe, we're using gluten-free pasta. So times and things may, be, may vary, but in the end it is still pasta, so it will still cook. We just have to adjust for the times and so forth to accommodate so next one once again because it is a pre-programmed recipe it's already thrown the thermomix into reverse before we start the speed up so up to the next one our pasta is doing a bit of a dance there now i'll just let you know this is the first time we've used the uh, thermomix to cook our pasta our long pasta this way so this is something new for us as well so let's see how everything works i'm assuming that everything's going to pop down in the next minute so that we can put a lid on potentially that's it starting to cook so as i was saying earlier the price rise, price rise is coming so Please, if you're looking at getting one, reach out to us. We'll help you get one on your bench as quickly as possible uh, so that you can avoid the, uh, the price rise. You can reach out to us via our email, which is mixingwiththesayshells at gmail.com, via Facebook at Rob and Ange Seychelles, on Instagram at Mixing with the Seychelles. Uh, and we've also got a YouTube page, which is Mixing with the Seychelles as well. So. We've got plenty of opportunities to reach out to us, so feel free to reach out. We will do what we can to get one of these beautiful machines on your bench as quickly as possible, so you can start enjoying the, uh, the benefits of having a second set of hands in the kitchen. You'll find a massive, with, with, sorry, with the current offer as well, we are, we've got the dough mat, which I said before, as well as the bread tin. Um, that's a gift for purchase of a TM6. In the process of that the purchase, you also get one of us consultants to come out, have a chat to you, show you how to use it to its full extent, and save you a lot of time in the kitchen and a lot of money in the process. Okay, next one. Okay, so we need to insert the moving cup. We might have to go back and put it on for a little bit longer because it's not. It hasn't dropped down far enough yet. So I'm putting that back down, step back, and we can just start that again, and we'll turn it on. We'll just keep this going until the pasta actually drops down far enough so that we can actually put the measuring cup in. Because of the fact that it's gluten-free pasta, it does take a bit longer to cook, and you will find that various pastas take various times and various inconsistencies with the, uh, the pasta themselves. Yes. 
Okay, so as I said, the gluten-free pasta took a little bit longer to cook for us, but we're at that point now where we can move on to the next step once the timer stops. Okay, next step is to put the lid on. Put the measuring cup into place. So this will now allow us, because the pasta is cooked sufficiently, it will allow us to just push that pasta in that little bit further and move along to the next step. Okay, we're going to start cooking again. Okay, that's eight to 10 minutes here on the packet for our pasta mix, for our pasta. So we'll put it on for nine. And once again, I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch us talk and babble on for nine minutes. What I will do is I'll point you in the direction of our uh, Facebook, where you're watching this hopefully, is uh, Rob and Ange Seychelles. Uh, Instagram at Mixing with the Seychelles and on via email at Mixing with the Seychelles at gmail.com and our YouTube page as well Mixing with the Seychelles again there okay I'll leave you for a few minutes we'll come back to you once we've got the pasta cooked and we'll uh, get moving with the rest of it thank you okay welcome back and as I said earlier with the adjustments for gluten-free pasta we did have to cook it a little bit longer so let's just see how it's all come out now. So I'll let my assistant take over. We need to pour that into the Varoma because we need to reserve whatever liquid we might have in there. I don't know that there's going to be much liquid in there from that after all. Some hot water so we can actually put some in there. And then grab the spatula out, scrape it down a bit. And I'll get ready with some hot water to add to the mixture. that into the thermo server to keep warm while we continue on with the sauce for this alfredo mixture okay you want to put it in the thermo? Now we have cooked up a bit of bacon and a bit of onion that uh, we cooked up previously. Now we put that into the thermo server to keep warm as well. Okay, are we ready? Uh, get a lid on, that'll keep warm for a good couple of hours while we're um, while we're getting ready for the remainder of this video. Okay. All right, next. So I've got to strain it, yep. Next again. We've done that. Next one, okay, so some butter. Now this is actually butter that we made earlier today. Homemade butter in the Thermomix once again. Just using some cream that we had. And it makes the butter and then you, uh, you keep the buttermilk out of it as well. And you've got two different products out of the, uh, the one, one staple from the supermarket. I want it to go in the bowl now. I think we'll probably be using 
nice job there. Now, as I said, please reach out to us so that we can help you get a Thermomix on your bench as quickly as possible so you can enjoy the benefits of making sure and of, uh, of ensuring what strikes go into your food as well. So it's great for people with allergies. We've got two celiacs in our household, hence the reason we've got gluten-free pasta that we've just cooked up as well. So it's great for anyone with allergies because it enables you to know precisely what products and ingredients are going into your meals. Okay, we can work with that. Okay, next step. Okay, so now we're going to, because we didn't have, due to the gluten-free pasta, we're going to add in hot water. Now this is just cooking this all together for us to make the sauce. What we'll do this time, I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch us again. So next time you see us, we'll have some photos of our meal dished up on plates so you can see how it turned out. I'll speak to you soon and remember to reach out to us on our email, mixingwiththeseychelles at gmail.com, on Facebook at Rob and Ian's Seychelle, Instagram at Mixing with the Seychelles and YouTube at Mixing with the Seychelles as well. Thank you and I'll speak to you next time.